Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, please subscribe. Thank you very much. And uh, I want to also let you know that yesterday's video was great. Um, if I do say so myself, I hope you guys, if you didn't watch it, will go back today and watch it because it was uh, it was on uh, Irene Ryan who played Granny. It was her eulogy at her funeral. Um, there was some more stuff in there, but uh, man, what a job Paul Henning did on her eulogy. So if you would, check out yesterday's. But today is on Mr. Raymond Bailey, who played um, Mr. Drysdale. And some thoughts of some of his cast members on Raymond Bailey <laughs> about how he was uh, grumpy and moody and such. I just, uh, he's a very interesting guy. Um, let's say we take a look. According to most of the cast, Raymond Bailey was hard to work with. He wasn't happy anywhere he was, said Paul Henning, who hired him. He complained a lot, but he played the part perfectly. Bailey's temper would flare in an instant and calm in a flash. Many times on the set, he would muddle his lines and get bit bitingly angry. Nancy Culp, who probably worked the most with him, explained their relationship. He called me slim all the time. He would blow up often. I would go and calm him down, and then he'd be okay. I seemed to be able to do that most of the time. I visited Bailey after the series was canceled at his home in Laguna Niguel, Miguel. At first, when he saw me, his eyes lit up. Then he said, oh, it's you, Slim. He liked me, but rarely showed it. And when I talked with him then, I remember we were out on the beach, and he was wondering why he wasn't getting any work, and nobody was coming to visit him. He talked for a half hour about negative things and griped about everything. God, he was aggravating. But I'd just say, yes, Raymond, yes. That was a way to handle him. When he'd blow up, people got so used to it, they just accepted it as normal, and that was Bailey. Shortly after his death, the National Enquirer published a story about Bailey's, Bailey headlined, Beverly Hillbilly's co-star dies lonely, shunned by Buddy Ebsen. The article detailed how the series ended. Uh, Ebsen did not offer Bailey work in Barnaby Jones and said, uh, that this had made Bailey extremely bitter in the last years after his success as Milburn Drysdale. He alienated himself from everybody, said Don Richardson, a press agent who worked with Bailey. Uh, sometimes people hated to be around him. He complained so much. Ebsen, however, found Bailey entertaining. He was always good for a laugh. I just find this interesting. I, I like to hear what other actors and actresses say about the other actresses and actresses because uh, they really did seem to get along and according to other things I've read um, he was close to Nancy Culp uh, during the show and after um, and they were pretty tight uh, but it's nice to know to get it from the horse's mouth so to speak uh, and her, her view on it you know herself anyway uh, another reason he probably didn't get any work after he was done with the Beverly Hillbillies is because he was uh, skimming right on the beginnings of the Alzheimer's disease, and that's a scary and cruel disease. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Come on, guys. Go on over there and check that out for me. I know there's some things over there you'll like. And classic rock and country music facts and trivia. And if you're over there and you like what you see, please go over there. Please, please, please. And check it out. Uh, if you can't get there, can't figure it out in the description below this video uh there is the link to get there so if you would um i have a great uh please don't forget to subscribe if you're there have a great day god bless and i'll be praying for you